Measuring Abundance by Ella Garner and Claudia Franks, Media Project Group 11. Ecologists often want to measure the abundance of a population in an area to further study ecosystems and their components. It is not always possible to measure population size by simply counting the number of individuals. In a very large area, it would take too much time or you could miss several individuals. Three different methods are utilized to accomplish a relative or estimated count of population size and different methods often work best for different populations. For example, in the Amazon rainforest, measuring tropical fern populations is much different than measuring moving organisms such as parrots or snakes. Area-based counts or quadrat sampling is one type of measurement ecologists use. In this method, individuals in a given volume or area are counted. A quadrat is simply a sampling area of a specific size, like one meter squared. Individuals are counted in several quadrats, and the counts are then averaged and multiplied by the total area to give an estimate of the total population size. The equation used for this method is capital N equals capital A over lowercase a times lowercase n, where capital N equals estimated total population size, capital A equals area of entire population, lowercase a equals the sample size, and lowercase n equals number of individuals in a sample area. One important concept for this method is the edge effect. The edge effect refers to organisms that are on the edge of the quadrat when counting. Organisms that touch the top or right edge of the quadrat are to be counted, but organisms that touch the bottom or left of the quadrat are not counted. Mark recapture is another type of measurement process. This method is often used for mobile organisms that are not always visible, and it is good for shy animals that move around or are nocturnal. For this method, experimenters capture and mark a number of individuals, then release them. Experimenters then capture these individuals again at a later date. The ratio of marked to unmarked individuals is used to estimate the population size. The equation for this method is M1 over N equals R over M2, or N equals M1 times M2 over R, where M1 is the number of captured and marked in the first sample, M2 is the number captured in the second sample, R is recaptured or were already marked in the second sample, and N is the total esti estimated population size. Assumptions for this method to be useful are that you are sampling the whole population equally, there is no immigration or e-migration occurring in the population, all the individuals have equal capture probability, and the marks given to individuals are not lost, do not affect survival, and do not affect capture probability. Mark recapture is often difficult, time intensive, and takes a lot of effort, so the best alternative is often an index of relative abundance, our third method. An index of relative abundance is a count or capture rate per standard unit of effort, which can be defined by the experimenter's choosing. A popular example of this is number of birds vocalizing per unit of time, or the vocalization frequency. This method does not give an estimated number of individuals in a population, but rather is repeat, repeated over time to determine trends, like if the population is growing, declining, or is stable. After a vocalization frequency has been determined, experimenters return to the area at a later date and repeat their method to compare their findings. To make an index as accurate and unbiased as possible, methods should be repeatable and conducted in ways as similar as possible like the time of day or year and in similar weather conditions. The use of these three methods makes ecological research much more efficient and allows for evidence-based conclusions to be made for populations across the globe. Thanks for watching.